Bill Henderson, would you like to introduce somebody to the meeting? Thanks, Mike. Uh, I'd like to introduce Joanne Coberly and Cheryl Rickens of the Sharks Valley Boys Soccer Boosters Club. This past weekend, the Sharks Valley Boys Soccer team held their annual alumni game, and players from as far back as 1972, is that correct? Uh, was it May here? Yeah. Right here? Uh, there were some old guys running around. <laughs> oh, well, <that> <laughs> okay, but not at all. Yeah. Uh, each year, the organization selects a recipient of the proceeds for the event as they teach our young men how to give back to the community. This year, the organization overwhelmingly selected the Bridgeville Flood Relief Fund uh, as, a, as their recipient of, of the proceeds. And prior to the game, a heartfelt synopsis of the event was read to the crowd, and, and it was heartfelt. Hearing the, the synopsis again over a loudspeaker was, uh, was really moving. Uh, I'd like all the families and businesses that have been impacted to know that your fellow residents and your neighbors within the Chartres Valley School District have your back. So with that, Joanne and Shirley. Well, um, we were able to raise uh, $268,000 for this and that is a combination of $128 from our 50-50 raffle, um, another um, $60, I'm sorry, $80 from the winner of the 50-50 who donated um, the majority of her winnings back to the fund, and then another additional $60 in just outright donations from our fans. So um, we're really pleased to present you with a check for $268. Sure. Who's your treasurer? <laughs> and um, we, we know that's just a drop, a drop in the bucket. Um, but we do, we we sincerely wish you all the best. And um, we have a couple of our players here. Um, both Cheryl and my son are both seniors this year and hoping to make the team. Um, but they came out to uh, help with the game, and, and uh, you know, them and their car counterparts helped to drum up sales for the 50-50 raffle on you all's behalf. Uh, so we just are, uh, we were, we were happy to help, and, um, and certainly um, we were going to look for other opportunities through the year um, to do that, because I'm sure that it's going to be an ongoing situation for everyone um, to, to work through this and hopefully... Um, get some assistance from the federal government. So we we extend our thoughts and prayers and our sincerest hopes that you get all the help you need, and we're going to do our best to help you out. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you.